freaks of nature unite! <laughs> Guys, you know, you do some easy wish to come to get video today. In this video, we're reviewing the latest episode of Bunks. I think it's called Dog Days of Summer. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I'll look it up. Um, after I finish this video, so it'll be correct in the title. But anyways, that's besides the point because the point of this video is me actually reviewing the episode. So, uh, I don't know if I like the episode. Like, it was so weird. So, Lou's dog died. And I, I was, I was like, oh, that sucks. You know, it's bad her dog died. But she, she was going really crazy over the dog. Like she was, she was, she was acting really positive at first. You know, like it was weird how positive she was um behaving. And then um, you know, uh, Emma, Zuri, and Xander, they brought it to her attention. And um, then she just let our emotion out, let let all her feelings out, and then after that, I thought she'd be better, but then she started, um, she, she got really sad after that, too, like, the next day, and then it was, like, it, like, the way they were acting and how much she loved her dog, like, it was literally her best friend, why have I never heard, her, I feel like I've never heard her talk about the dog before, I don't know, maybe she has, but I've never heard her talk about the dog before, has she, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, even if she has, she doesn't talk about it that much to the point where it's like, oh, wow, it's her it's her best friend. Like, wow. I don't know. I, I don't know. There was nothing really to make me buy that it was her best friend other than her saying it. And then she and then it got to the point where she actually wanted to leave camp. Like, why? Why did she want to leave camp? Like. What was, I, I, they, they never even explained it in the episode. She was just like, I can't be here. The dog's already dead, though. Why, why can't you be there? I, I didn't understand that. I, I really didn't understand that. Um, and like, she's acting like the people there are, t are chopped liver. Like, those are your friends, too. I thought that those are your friends. Like, like, it obviously shows you how little that they mean to her. That she just leave like that. Like, dang. Dang. And then, um, there was another uh, plot going on where, um, there was, like, a role-playing book, um, uh, Mega Mutants. And then, um, it was Ravi and, uh, what's her name? What's that girl's name? No, what's her name? What's her name? Oh my god, I gotta look it up. Um, I know her name in real life. I think it's Nina Lou. But, yeah, what's her name? What's her name? The girl that plays the violin? I don't know. But I, I, I forget. Like, I'm so sorry. Um, how did I remember her real life name? But I don't remember her character's name. But, anyways, uh, you guys probably know who I'm talking about, right? Uh, her and Robbie, they are playing a game, um... Mega Mutants, um, Mega Mutants, and, uh, they were talking about it, and then Hazel, she overhears them talking about it, or, or role-playing about it, or whatever, and then she's like, guys, I play it too, and then it's mental, because, you know, you, I never thought that Hazel was cool, but never pegged her as a nerd either, so it's weird, it's odd, it's mental, it's wacky, you know, so, boom, um, they, um, Hazel and what's her name? What's her name? That girl. Oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm just gonna call her. Um, I'm just gonna call her by her real name. I think her real name is Nina. So anyways, Hazel and then Nina. Um, they uh, they're they're playing the Mega Mutants Unite. And then Robbie, he's actually role playing as like this lizard guy. Um, who's a narrator. So like he's basically not really playing, but he is playing. I I don't know. But um, yeah. So Hazel, you know, she's having a good time. And then Robbie and uh. The Nina, Nina Lou, I think that's her name in real life. Hopefully, I'm not even getting it saying that wrong. But, um, yeah, so they come up to her while she's sitting at the lunch table with some people, and they're like, Oh, we made you a new um, invisibility cloak. And then, and then she's like, What are you guys doing? Scram, get out of here, nerds. Like, honestly, Ravi's being a bit inconsiderate. Um, and, and that girl, they're being a bit inconsiderate because the way that she told you. 
she kind of did it like in secret. So don't you think that um, she wouldn't want people to know? I mean, like, yeah. But I really enjoyed this side plot. And then at the end of it, um, you know, uh, Emma, uh, Xander, and Zuri, they threw a goodbye. I, um, Jorge wasn't in this episode, by the way. But anyways, he is, um, Emma... Xander and Zuri, they threw a goodbye party for, well, they attempted to throw a good guy, goodbye party for Lou. And then at the end of it all, Hazel, she was like, I play Mega Mutants. And everyone's like, oh my god, this is weird. And then, and then um, yeah, so Hazel, you know, she comes out of nowhere with it. And, um, yeah, she embraces her inner nerd. And, and it's a very cool moment. Um, I actually enjoyed the, the that plot more than I feel like the main plot that the episode was focused on because I don't know I feel like Lou she was kind of acting like and then the whole party thing it just oh my god the party was so bad it ended in so much chaos it was wacky it was really wacky like everything was just getting messed up they were trying to pay a tribute pay tribute to Lou didn't work out very well um and then um Xander tied up to a chair ended up falling on a cake and then he got in his face, I understand that. Then it splashed up, hit Lou like square, like all over her face from the floor. How was that possible? How did the cake catapult that much? How? And p perfectly just right onto her face. Th that made no sense to me. Um, but yeah, and then of course, she was like, see what you guys went through for me? I'm gonna stay. Like, that thing was just, oh, God. I just didn't enjoy that. Like, like these people, you, you really didn't think much of them before, right? Because, like, you were willing to leave them. Like, I understand if, like, she found out her dog was dying or something that she wanted to go home. But her dog already died. And, like, there's nothing you can do. You're just gonna sit home and be sad all day. When you can sit at camp and be sad all day, like, with your friends. But, yeah, guys, thumbs up this video. Tell me what you thought I bunked in the comments below. Um, your opinions on it, even if you disagree with me. Tell me what you think. We can have a, you know, a little debate in the comments below. A respectful, a respectful debate. <laughs> in the comments below. So, yeah, tell me what you thought of the episode. If you disagree with me, agree with me, just tell me it all in the comments below. I, I don't really care. And, yeah, guys, uh, share this with your friends. I make a video every day. I'm back tomorrow. Till tomorrow, guys, and I'll every time I tell your video. Disney fans, please subscribe. Um, yeah, I make a Disney video every day that a Disney show comes on. And, uh, 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 yeah. Stay beastly. <gasps>